Don't put the video right on you or something? Oh, it's fine. I just don't sit there and just go right off. <laughs> okay. Out here in the neighborhood, taking care of Jesse, Jessica, Cynthia, and about 27 other neighbors here in the neighborhood tomorrow. If we could pitch you in on the schedule, you do it really cheap, and that's for everything around here. Mm. <clears throat> um, I'm just kind of busy right now, but yeah, if I could get like a card, I'll call you or something. Yeah, I mean, I could definitely give you a card, it's not really like a calling coupon or anything. Um, in a situation like that, if there's a better time for me to come back and actually talk to you face to face or even on, over the phone, I'd really like to send you a, a quote so you can kind of see kind of what we do and then kind of go from there. I mean, could you spare two minutes of your time and talk through it real quick for you? Mm, sure. Okay. Let me let me maybe role play another way to do that okay. just while, while we're on the topic and stuff. Because um, all the things that I've taught you work, trust me. Like they work and stuff. Um, I'm just, you guys are learning more now, so I'm gonna start giving you a little bit more things too. Um, like when they say, hey, I'm busy right now, like kind of like pull back, like agree with them, like, like oh yeah, no, it's not even that big of a deal. I've only got no pressure. Like, yeah, you know, pressure. It's not, it's not that crazy of a deal. It's not like the end of the world or anything. Uh, it's just a little heads up. You don't even need to buy anything, honestly. Um, I, and I've only got a couple spots left in this route, so they just make me kind of. Just kind of inform everybody, just so we're all on the same page, if that makes sense. Um, but really, just the thing to be aware of, uh, we're doing some work, so if you have someone, if you want to call them, probably be a, a good idea. But the main point of it was like that I kind of, I didn't like push, because when you do push or like create like that, oh, it's not a call and coupon, those people are getting smarter and smarter these days, and they like know what tactics are you know mm -hmm. if you can create like a, a real situation that doesn't seem like a tactic like if you're like well i'm gonna put the rack okay well i've got these two spots and it's like a real thing then it can work but if they feel like it's a tactic that you're just using then like they don't like you they're like uh you're trying to sell me you're trying to like you know they're just immediately putting up that yeah, wall it's going to build the more resistance and stuff resistance. <clears throat> so um, you're like yeah i'm real busy right now and can you like give me a card or something like that yeah actually no worries, no worries. It's not, it's not super important. It's not, it's not like that crazy or anything. It's more just like a heads up real quick. Um, oh, this is a thing you might plug into your stuff. Like, hey, how's it going? Good. I apologize. I can't really stay too long. I've got to get down here real quick. So like you're leaving, you know, because that that's actually the best way to overcome that objection of like, oh, I'm busy. Can I get a card? You're, you're like, I'm busy. You say you're busy before they say they're busy. Gotcha. And you're always leaving. Because if they it's almost didn't like you're opening the pitch. I'll just be real quick. I got I gotta get down the street. Yeah. And, and then they're like, oh okay, this isn't gonna take long. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's it's already he's already leaving, so I'm gonna shoot him off. Okay. I can chill, like receive the information, but then go. So you're just like, hey, it's it's just me, you know. It's just me, Dylan. Um so that's like, should I know you? It's just you, like, hey, hey dude, it's just me, Dan. Um Hey, it's just me, Dylan. I, I apologize. I, I apologize. I can't really stay long. I gotta get keep going down here. Um, but I didn't want to go over something like real quick with you. If you had like a second um, to maybe help me out real quick, um, just we've been getting a couple of different issues because of the construction. Um, just like normal stuff, like uh, a couple of rodents, like ants for sure. Um, if you guys have something you can call, it might be a good idea. Just sort of like ping ponging them around and everything like that. Um, but did you guys have somebody coming out already or like uh, did you guys do it yourself? What do you guys currently kind of have going on here as far as like keeping the, the critters under control? Who's responsible for that? Dylan? Yeah, he, he, he can. Um, so it was just like, I didn't, even, I didn't do a price thing. Mm -hmm. I didn't mention price. I didn't do a close. I just kind of gave my intro, which was just like, a, I'm pulling off, hey, it's just me, Dan. So I apologize, I can't stay too long. I gotta get down an appointment here. I'm just waiting for her to get home. Um, but I just wanted to do a quick courtesy notice. No, you don't need to buy anything, it's no pressure. I throw that one there too. Like, yeah. I'm with I'm with Dan Can. Um, I'm doing everybody's hybrid service. Uh, no, you don't need to buy anything, so no worries. More just a courtesy notice, just so we're all on the same page, not you know, 
ping pong the bugs back and forth, if, if that makes sense. Um, but if I could ask, do you guys have something that does that for you, or you guys do it yourself, or like who's, who's responsible for keeping the rodents and like the bugs out of the house right now? Like, so you do bring up a couple things, but it's yeah. like who's responsible for that? And you've already said like I gotta go. You've already said you don't need to buy anything. Like you, it's a courtesy notice. So there's no resistance. You're like who's? It's just 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 to kind of be aware. It's just a heads up, just to be aware of a couple of areas on the home that tend to attract the critters and stuff like. Uh, we bring in some stuff in the attic and some little like stuff in the in the kitchen and stuff. But who who would you be calling for that stuff? Do you guys have somebody that you could call, or you guys do that yourself, just so we can give you the best information? Yeah. Um, and like, oh yeah, we have someone. We've been doing it ourselves. And then it's just like um, you're like, oh yeah, we've been we've been doing it ourselves. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's no worries. It's a smart way to do. It. I'm sure you're saving saving a buck for sure. Um, what what do you guys what are you guys doing? Like, well, what's been working for you? So then you kind of find out, like, okay, where are you at? What are you doing? Okay. Um, is there is there a reason, like, you, you do it yourself? Like, I mean, do you, do you like doing it yourself? Like, um, so you just kind of find out where they're at. And then, um, okay, no worries. And then as far as the, uh, so what are you guys, what are you doing typically? You right in Home Depot, or are you, like, going full-blown, like, going on the dark web and getting, like, the good, crazy products that, like, you can't even buy anymore, like, do you write a depot when you see them? Like, do you more hit them as you get them? Or are you kind of like being real proactive and like putting products out to prevent bugs from coming out every season and like anticipating what will show up and putting it there before them? Like, yeah. Because when you kind of ask them, are you preventing them before they get there? Rather than saying like, oh, well, you're kind of, oh, well, the thing about doing it yourself is you're reactive. So you're gonna spray bugs when you see them, but you're never really solving the problem. So, which one are you typically doing? Are you kind of hitting them as you get them? Or are you putting out products, different products each season to like proactively prevent the different types of influxes? Like getting all like the products off of like the DIY sites or like where are you kind of doing it? Like, yeah. uh, we, you know, I just get the stuff here. I don't know, like, okay. Uh, do, you, do you like doing it yourself? Like, could I ask like, it, like why, why what's, what's prevented you? From getting a professional service to come out and do it for you, like that's it. Rather than like why did, why we got a professional service, like giving it some other reason, so it's not your fault. Yeah. You know what what's what's prevented you from from getting a professional service to come out here? Like if I if I could ask like why 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 have we done that? Oh, it's just been busy, or it's just the price, or I don't know. Like I probably will get someone eventually. Um, okay, sounds good. Um, no worries. Uh, there's a lot of good companies out there for sure, and like I said, I I got I got to get going here, and I'm not even sure if what we do would would work for for you. Um, we need to kind of look at a couple things first. Um, but before I go, if it's appropriate, it would be okay to kind of just go over a couple little areas just so you can kind of be aware and stuff. Is that your permission? Is that okay? Um, cool. Now I got permission. Um, <clears throat> okay. What? What are you guys currently doing for like the as far as like vermin in the attic and stuff? What are you guys? What are you doing currently to like monitor or, or prevent that here? Nothing. Okay. Okay. Um, and then you get into the curious, and then you get into the concern zone. You're like, okay. Um, like. Okay. So, is that is that something that you you would you're concerned about that, or do you like? Well, let me ask you this: Are you are you just being nice? You know, are you just letting me like get through my pitch and stuff, or, or is this stuff important to you? Is this actually something like you you're you know concerned about keeping the structure of the home protected and like the family safe and stuff, or are you just being polite? Like you can just tell me straight. I mean, you can tell me to f off and I'll leave. It's okay. Like <laughs> um, throwing in, like jokes like that, right? Like a quick joke, like. Um, now out here is the important part because this is where the bugs come from in the end, right? I mean, this is where they're actually getting jiggy making the babies, right? <laughs> <laughs> like that's what, like this is where they're actually like because you can say nesting and breeding, like that's typically part of the script. But like this is the, this is typically where like they're they're getting down and jiggy, like saying stuff like that and like making a little joke. So like you want like a joke for each one, you know? This is where the the wasps build the like little condominiums. I'm sure you've seen them, like the the little house huts, you know. Um, I don't know, just look, describing things, in, you've done that, I've heard you do that, oh, yeah. like do things in a, in a humorous way, same, same message, but with a joke, so it adds in the dopamine. Um, I, 
I'm just regularly rambling at this point. I'm just taking notes. Um, so that was good. Just the, the main point was like trying not to like push, trying to like really just like pull it through. And it, um, you can bring up those things later, but really the key, this is the key. So the key I've heard for people, they prevent objections. They know the objections and they prevent objections. They don't get objections because they prevented the objection. Like they eight mile it or like they just? Yeah, they eight mile everything. Now, now one of the big things to be aware of is, is there's just different areas in the structure that tend to attract different like bugs and vermin and stuff. Um, for example, like up here with, you know, this is like the soft event and you know why it kind of comes out like this. It's so that the cool air can get sucked in and pushed up the top. What it does though, it creates a perfect area to have like wasps and mud divers and spiders nests up there just because they can get all, all the bugs that are flying around and everything like that. Um, so, I mean, obviously you could sweep that down yourself and kind of do it yourself. Um, and most companies will, will kind of knock them down if, if you have somebody. Um, but the issue is they always come right back, right? And so what I need to do is we put a product on the brush and, cause I can't spray it, you know, because then it's gonna like blow all over the neighbor's house and get all of my face and stuff. So what we do is we actually put it on a brush head and then we, we wipe it on there and we're, we clean it, the mud powder and the spider webs. And then we put the product just so they don't come back the next day or anything like that, if that makes, does that make sense? Um, usually on that part, when I'm bringing that up, I just go and I'm just like, yeah, you see the brick here? And then I do like the hand gesture and like, yeah, so up here, like you can go grab your your kitchen broom or your garage broom and like sweep all that stuff down. I'm sure you probably have, right? You can use a hose. And or... it's like, but the problem is, is like, and most companies will sweep all that down for you. What kind of sets us apart is we're actually treating up there. But like, we're not just spraying something down because like, that would be safe for you or your family and you walk out, falls down on your head and we got bigger issues, right? So like when we're up here, we sweep all that stuff down. And then the important thing, those pheromones that are left behind, we're treating so they don't just keep coming back for you. So I can't do it myself. I can't, I'll just do it myself. I can't think, I'll just do it myself. So at that point, it's like, well, what powder do you use? How do I use it? Can I use the kitchen broom and then use it in the house and then not do that there? And you also overcame the, I'll get another company to do it. And you're like, most companies will do that. They'll, they'll you know, knock down, they'll de-wed and they'll knock down the mud divers. That's not really what I'm doing. Like we're a little different. Um, Say stuff like that, that's not what we do. We're a little different. Not a lot different, like we're the best. We're a little different, a little different. Well, I would probably use like, we, we apply a product up in these areas. Sometimes if you, if you tell them dust specifically, I've had them come back and go, well, won't that leave a mark? Or won't yeah. that leave like a residue up there? Just food, food for thought. Well, because there's a couple of companies I've talked to out there that people had, and like I would see the water spots because they would go through and just like spray everything down, mm -hmm. but it still wasn't working if they sprayed it or they had other companies, and then that's why I it will. But the biggest issue with spraying there. those areas is it's a danger to the customer because mm -hmm. if they walk out, and they, they get drip on them. That's when I bring up like the reason we use a dust up there is just so it's not falling down on you and it's getting applied to those, all those cracks and crevices. You know, between here and the brick and that baseboard there, you got all those little cracks and crevices. And the problem with that is the bug, you know, the spiders, the wasps can crawl up in there and then they can crawl down in your home. And then depending on how engaged they are, I'll bring up like they can either pop up in your attic and come out that way. They can pop out electrical socket. Usually that's the, what? <laughs> or they can pop out underneath your baseboard and they're like, what? And then they're like, well, yeah, I had ants in here. And then they just start telling me all these other issues that they had and they couldn't figure out why I had this in the bathroom or that. And I just put a little tidbit of information with it and then just keep going past it. Yeah. So. Yeah, you guys are, you guys are doing great. Awesome. You, know, like, you guys are employees and this and that. And, you know, and then I do a big old gesture thing. Like, you know, these people down here, like the really nice thing about it is like we hit each and individual. Awesome. Each yeah. and every one. One to three feet apart, and the nice part is, is like as the wind blows and everything, like that dust works its way from the very bottom down there all the way up your wall to like the ceiling there. So like you're protected. And sometimes I throw it in where I'm like sometimes, or sometimes I'll throw it in where I'm like you know we're essentially protecting you, like including that power spray from like that ground level all the way up to that roof. Line. Where I'm not just like specifically, this is what we cover, but it's like essentially it's covering 
this? Oh, yeah. like, oh, okay, yeah, that sounds awesome. Like, my company doesn't do that. Yeah. When it's like a switchover scenario. Yeah. So, like, I, I'm impressed. I've, I hope I've, I've been texting it, like, I'm impressed. Yeah. I've turned on the recruiting stuff. I've got people. We're sending out two offers today. Um, I really need, I'm just gonna let you guys know, I, like my goal, my purpose for you, I need team leaders. So and you guys are doing great. You guys definitely get in there. My idea is to, like this season that's coming up, January, is to show you what a season should look like. Like the structure, all the little things that make it different from like, which a lot of it is just, there's a lot more money dumped into it, which means a lot more incentives and prizes and games and fun stuff. Like it's a lot more fun and there's a lot more people. So it's a lot like, more exciting. Like we just talked about how we're gonna spend a ton of money like revamping all that bay and like doing a ton of stuff to make it like cool and then getting an office up by UNT and like getting things going. Um, but uh, yeah, so you guys are doing awesome. The thing, um, oh. This is like one little piece. So in your pitch though, make sure that you you find like their hot button. Don't don't get into the thing where you just give a pitch and you don't have to tell them about the eaves if they don't care about the eaves. You don't have to talk about the yard if they never talk about the yard. Find what they've talked about. Like, so what have you guys been doing? Okay, what have you been doing it for? So if you guys have something or are you doing it yourself? Oh, we do it ourselves. Okay, and when you're doing it yourself, what are you typically doing it for? Like, what are you trying to prevent from getting into your house? Ants. Okay. Are you like okay? Ants. Do you, do you why is that? Do you have you guys seen ants, or you just don't like ants, or like ants? Okay. Is there anything else that you're typically treating for to try to keep out of your house? Oh well, just everything. Okay, sounds good. And then what are you typically doing to prevent those from getting in? And what are you, do you do it yourself? Yeah, we're doing it ourselves. Okay, what are you doing it yourself for? Why? Are you just spraying it for fun? Okay, how are you doing it to keep those out? Okay, cool. And then are you satisfied with the results you're getting from that? Is there anything else that you'd like, like to make sure that is covered and protected? And um, they're like, oh, well, no, that's pretty good. And you're like, okay. And so you're satisfied with all that? Like, okay. So that's, um, and then, that's the thing, it's just like, talk about what they care about. Because if you, because what happens is if you're like, it's $99, and it's $99 to take care of your aunts, then they're paying $99 to earn their aunts. So they feel like, I'll pay $99 to earn my aunts, for sure, you know? But what happens if you're like, it's $99, and it takes care of uh, ants and spiders, you just made like, I'm paying half of the price, I'm paying for spiders. I don't have spiders, but I'm paying for spiders. So I don't like that. Okay, and it's gonna take care of like the the fleas and ticks. I don't have fleas and ticks. And it's gonna take care of like the wasps. I don't have wasps issues. So like you're making like that $99, they're like, okay, like I'm way overpaying for my ants. If it's like, does that make sense? You know, like, oh, so it should be 10 bucks for the ants then. How much for just the ants? Like find what they're wanting and just like get them to say yes on that. They'll pay 50 bucks to get ants out or keep whatever out, you know? Don't like give away too much. Like just, what are you treating for? Why, why do you have them come out? What are they trying to keep from getting inside the house? Okay, have you experienced that before? Have you seen that? Oh, what happened? Like, what are they trying to keep out? Oh, ants in the kitchen. Oh, why is that, have you seen those before? Yeah, oh, when was that? They'll tell you. Okay, are you satisfied with the results that you've been getting from that? Okay, like, like why? So they'll be, yeah, 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 okay. I mean, it sounds like things are going fairly, fairly well with what you're doing. Um, is there anything though, like you would change, like if you could, like, is there anything? And then they like, oh, well, you know, blah, blah, blah. But. Cause I've, I've been running into a lot of that with like trying to get switchovers <laughs> with people like I talked to two different people on the same street, and they had talked to each other about both having Romex. And the one guy had been treated once, like a month, month and a half back, and he had already called him out three times for resources. And I was like, oh, cool, was it the same thing? Was it different? Was it inside, outside? Like, what was it? And he goes into the whole story. And then I go and talk to his buddy down the street, and he's like, yeah, I only had one service, and I've already found three scorpions inside, and this and that and the other. And I'm like, well, how did that make the wife feel? played on all that, so then he was going that route and everything. And I know I've been throwing a ton at you, and the last thing, 
is don't be a product pusher. Don't be like, here's this cool thing, buy this cool thing. The only reason that you are there is to help them find a problem. Talk about, like, just be a detective and try to look for a problem with them. Don't try to sell anything. <clears throat> I'm not here to sell anything, you don't have to buy anything. I, I can't stay long. I've actually got a couple spots anyways. But, like, if you can find a problem, then you can find a solution. Like, then, like, it's, I, it took me a long time to really understand it. I still don't fully understand it, so I'm probably good at it. But be problem finders rather than product pushers. Oh, Go talk to them and find a problem that they have, and then talk about the problem. What are they doing about the problem? Have you, are you liking what the results you're getting from what you're doing for that problem? Like, are, are you gonna continue doing that? It, would it be okay if maybe I showed you an idea of another way to do it? Would that help you? So you find a problem, what are you doing? Is it working, do you like it? Do you wanna keep doing that? Okay, but why do you wanna change something now? Why don't you just keep doing what you've been doing? Is this important to you though? Okay, well if it's important, it, would it be appropriate, would it be okay with your permission to kind of go over maybe a, a solution that I've seen work for like Nancy down here? Yeah, okay, here's a solution that we do for, for the ants that you're talking about. Um, does, does that make sense? You follow me, right? Or you should, like, you, 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 get, you get that, does that make sense? Yes, 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 okay. Um, <clears throat> well, I don't know if you had any other questions or anything or you had any other issues you kind of wanted a tip on or kind of where you want to go from here. Um, typically, we'll just kind of get a little bit of information and kind of get something on the schedule though for our guy to get out here and do some basic stuff and then inspect for all the bigger stuff just to make sure there's nothing crazy going on. But I don't know what, what you want to do. Dang, I like this format a lot. Yeah, I love that better. Well, the other day that I got to the point like where I was going through the pitch and the guy was like, yeah, I have all these problems. We just moved in. The wife's not happy. And so I kind of went through, like, instead of focusing on price or anything, I was just like, well, let me tell you about the service. I'm like, this is what all we'll take care of. You have your dog, you have your kids. You're, we're going to protect you from all that. Keep the wife happy. Save yourself time. And I was like, how's that sound for you? And I didn't even tell him price at all at that point. And he was like, it sounds good. And he's just like going through it. And I was like, well, you know, Kind of this is where we're at price wise and everything, and then he was like, Well, I gotta I gotta make sure we buy it. Cool. Sounds cool. good. Thank you, Dan. That was awesome, man. Yeah. We appreciate it. It's cool. Yeah, sorry. I'm trying not to let all slip out, but <laughs> <laughs> it's good to hear it up from somebody other than me and Jeremy Miner, huh guys? Yeah. Yeah. They've been really liking it. I think like all of them have kind of adopted some of the MEPQ stuff that we found. And, uh, I realize I've been doing like a lot more of the MEPQ stuff than I realized. Like I didn't know that was the MEPQ that I just kept trying to force. Mm -hmm. And I realized like I've been implementing some of that already. It's cool. So, um, yeah, remember, like, don't jump too hard. You guys are doing good, but don't jump too hard because it, there's a lot of little pieces to it, like the tone and stuff too. And like, so don't try to jump, because if you go and try to do something you don't know how to do, you're gonna look nervous and unconscious and stuff. Your body language is gonna like, like uh, and you're gonna feel uncomfortable. Do what you're comfortable with, and then let it just naturally come in, you know? So just do the picture. Right, you know, now. what, chapter 10? When we kind of start getting into the tones and body languages and... Yeah, if you, if you guys like really wanna get it, I can write like the script for any PQ and the questions that you would ask for pest control for NEPQ. I've, I've written that out and stuff. Yeah. This is the NEPQ style. So, yeah. Like, you guys are, are ready for that. Just don't, like, take it slow. Like, I would say go get a sale, you know? Focusing on what you know, and then after that, like, kind of practice. Play with it. Bit. Mm -hmm. um, but if you're gonna do it, you also need to commit to, like, practicing it outside of it. You have to, like, get that pitch down as hard as you do the other stuff. Um, but I've got that. Like, I can put it together. It's just questions, pretty much the whole thing, and yeah. kind of flow. I can make a video of it, kind of how it would go. And stuff. Yeah. That'd be helpful. Um, for sure. Thanks. Cool. Well, we got a lot Always of ready. Exciting ready stuff. Tango, yeah. swords and shields and everything. Good. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Get out of here. Thanks, Dan. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Dan.